excited that comedian and consummate scene stiller Michelle Buteau has finally gotten the leading role in a project of her own. She has always played the supporting character, the comedic relief, and now she gets to show how talented she is as a leading lady. She stars in Netflix's new sitcom, Survival of the Thickest, and I think it is so hilarious. It is full of great supporting characters <laughs> in the vein of how she used to be a, a well-rounded, funny supporting character. So the cast is phenomenal, uh, which I'll get into in a second. And it's well-represented, it's funny, um, it's not tropian. Now, I will say that the first episode did not win me over. So there are eight episodes in this series. The first one, I was like, okay, it's going to get into these tropes about fat girls. Now, I, I gave it a chance, and I'm glad that I did, because it is not about that. It is not lampooning big girls or lampooning fat girls. In fact, she plays a body positive, up and coming celebrity stylist. And it's very situational in the things that she goes through because of a breakup and um, because she is a big girl styling uh, celebrities. And so I, I just think it was refreshing. I think it's uh, she's the perfect person for it, obviously, because she adapted her book. She wrote a book called Survival of the Thickest a few years ago, and she is the showrunner of this project. So she wrote it. She did have a co-writer. I mean, it is just a really well-rounded show. The episodes go by really quick. They're about 27 minutes each. And it follows her, like I said, she is uh, trying to be a celebrity stylist. She's an up and coming stylist. And it shows the pitfalls and drawbacks of breaking into the business of styling celebrities. And it also uh, centers around a relationship uh, that she, she was in a five year relationship and it goes south because he cheats and she finds the magic in herself again because she centered him and his career. She's navigating, living in the big city, starting over, really starting from scratch, building her career late in her 30s and finding love. She meets this gorgeous Italian who she knows instantly or she has an inkling that he may be her husband in the future. And so it shows how this long distance relationship, because he does still live in Italy, shows how this relationship can or cannot work. And, and if she has one foot in her other relationship because it is familiar and comfortable, but it shows just what her past looks like and um, how it could change the trajectory of her life if she moves backwards versus if she moves forward into the unknown. I love this story. It's very sweet, it's charming, it's realistic, it's rooted in a lot of realism, and it's funny. It's very, very funny. I think Michelle Buteau uh, proves in this series not just how great of a comedian and actress she is, but also how fire her pen, how potent her pen is because this is well written and I support the writers and I support the actors 1000% but I really <laughs> I really hope she's already written season two because I really hope that this is renewed for a second season and I hope even more that Netflix is paying her paying these actors paying her as a writer because they deserve to be paid but anyway, like I said, it has a really great cast and I definitely want to give them shout outs because they are so phenomenal. It does have some really great cameos. So, uh, it has Tasha Smith. Now, um, a lot of us know Tasha Smith. Uh, she's a household name, especially uh, in black circles because uh, she 
is also a scene stiller. That's what I mean. Her, Michelle Buteau's supporting cast in this series, they're just as funny as she's ever been in, you know, the films and uh, sitcoms that she's stolen scenes from. So the cast is phenomenal. So Tasha Smith, who you'll remember from um, Why Did I Get Married? She's also a fantastic acting coach, <laughs> which I think I, I shouldn't even get into it, but I think the weekend, a year two or three with her, and I think he'll be fantastic as an actor, but that's another story. That's another story. Don't even get me started about that uh, series. It has Tone Bell, Garcelle Bouvet. Oh my gosh, Bar Garcelle, you, you know Garcelle. She uh, has been a supermodel, but she is also on uh, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Uh, she's the reason to watch. I mean, come on, let's be let's be serious. She's the reason to watch. And then it has Peppermint, who is so fantastic. It has Marwain Zadi, Anissa Felix is in it. She plays Tone Bell's love interest. It's so cute. They have some really great chemistry. Uh, Taylor Sale and Sarah Cooper. Do you remember Sarah Cooper? She kept us laughing throughout the pandemic uh, on TikTok, specifically uh, doing these impressions of Trump, which uh, are hilarious. There is also a hilarious cameo by Nicole Byer and Liza Treyer that plays uh, Michelle Buteau's roommate in this series is such a scene stiller. This girl is so funny. Every time she's on scene, every time she's on screen, she steals the scene. It's so funny. Such a well-rounded cast. I cannot recommend this series enough. It's very easy to watch. It's comfortable to watch and it's hilarious. I'm so shocked that it's not like trending enough it's so funny. Why am I not hearing more people talk about it? I have no idea. So I will be pushing it again. I hope that season two is already in the can. I highly doubt it, but I wish. A girl can hope. A girl can dream. At any rate, treat yourself. Watch Survival of the Thickest, which is currently streaming on Netflix now. <laughs>